Hi, this is Kintaro and Janos, Real World Audio. I'm showing him because I've been shooting a couple of videos with him and I've been totally neglecting him and then he was yawning and stretching. So, ah, uh, what I'm going to talk in this video uh, in addition to just uh, showing Kintaro. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, NickTube was asking me about uh, something quite... Uh, uh, interesting that that really stuck in my mind and I was thinking about it how I'm going to approach answering his question and he said that he has an audio note system and he really really loves audio note sound he has an A and a J loudspeaker and would it be a good idea for him to to try out a cube audio loudspeaker or would uh, my other loudspeaker, the Voice of Lancelot, which is a ultra efficient uh, Altec based uh, horn system, would that be a better suit, better match for the audio note system? And um, actually, I just uh, went and looked up more about the A and J because it's been 20 years since I heard. Uh, an A and J, and uh, and I well, and of course there's been twenty years of development since then, and since then it has really expanded into a, a line of speakers that ex expands or extends to a whole range, depending on uh, what level you get it. So what what sort of uh, inner cabling, what sort of crossover, etc. And uh, uh, Kintaro, is this boring? No, I don't know. Maybe he's getting bored about it. But uh, not me, not us, not us audiophiles. And uh, and I was thinking that um, actually both of these solutions, uh, either like going the cube audio route or going the Altec route, is is a valid solution for an audiophile system because both of these systems. Uh, uh, both of these uh, speaker solutions, they they really thrive on a, on a single-ended amplification or even push-pull amplification. But the philosophy that audio not follows, which is uh, no feedback, shortest possible signal path, and having reactive live loudspeakers, because most of the mainstream industry is using uh, non-reactive loudspeakers which are passives so they they really act as as a dead load to the amplifier and they really force the amplifier to manhandle them so basically they expect to be just uh, kind of like grabbed and and just shoved from one place to the other and the the audio note way is to uh, allow the live speaker to to breathe and just guide the membrane with a gentle hand and uh, and what i mean with a gentle hand why, why they can breathe that's because they have a, a crossover that has a benign behavior so it does not present a challenge for the amplifier we don't need to develop uh, special mechanisms to deal with an inresponsive uh, energy guzzling uh, crossover, which is technically an additional piece of equipment that, that is in the picture between your loudspeaker and your amplifier. So in the case of the Cube Audio, there is not even... Uh, a crossover so you the amplifier will be directly driving the cone and while uh, for the cube audio drivers there is no gain in efficiency so that's what you uh, notice with the audio not uh, speakers that if you progress even within the a and j family then you will notice a slight increase in the sensitivity of the uh, loudspeakers and also if you go for the bigger model the A and E it's 
more sensitive than the ENJ and as you go for the higher ENEs they are getting more and more sensitive uh, and then you would expect that uh, also if you change from the ENJ to something else then uh, you can expect that if you go for higher sensitivity that's when you get better liveliness more lifelike presentation and in the case of the cube audio drivers you are not going to get uh, higher efficiency in fact maybe you will be dropping a db or two compared to the anj but that doesn't tell the whole story because uh, in the case of the anj there's also a crossover that needs to be driven and in the case of the cube audio there is no crossover and if you can make a choice between a crossover or one or two dbs then the lack of crossover will always win out in the sense of dynamics naturalness compared to having a, a plus 2 db advantage on paper but having to negotiate with a crossover and of course most of you will comment at this point that uh, crossovers might not be all bad and then if you have a single driver you need still a, a, some sort of filter network to EQ the uh, frequency range to get rid of colorations but maybe you can check my previous video and I spent a long time explaining there that for the cube audio you do not need to resort to such measures because they do not have any upper mid-range coloration whatsoever and uh, so so those things which are generally a problem for single drivers such as colorations and frequency limitations are not an issue with the cube audio drivers at least the fc8 that i'm using and the driver in the nanofar mini that peter brunigan tried and gave his report on and when uh, when i look at the f10 and the magus uh, those drivers neither have the coloration as the graph of the measurements show in the room response so that's one thing that uh, i think it will be really good match to an audio note system and you are going to hear uh, basically how the how the sound can sound without a crossover and 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 actually with an a and j i think the a and j can complete with a compete with a cube audio uh, if you have the top of the line models where you have the best crossover that you can put in the system and the best internal wiring because in that case uh, the crossover is not going to uh, have such a negative impact on the sound as you put more and more effort into a crossover the less the negative impact is going to be but then you will notice that the price just becomes crazy prohibitive uh, and um, one, so that's why going for a cube audio driver even though it's like still expensive but not nearly as expensive as the top of the line a and j's so and i think it will work very very nicely it will have a different uh, way of sounding than the a and j it will have its own character but i can tell you that that character in my experience is uh, is not it does not bring uh, a strong flavor to the house it's not skewing the sound and uh, and it's it's its character is is a balanced uh, a natural character so so i think if you go that way you are going to love it and uh, i have not answered yet the other part which is the uh, voice of Lancelot, would you be happy with that with audio not? I think you would absolutely love it and have a blast with it. But building it will be a monumental challenge. It can be done though, 
uh, because if you look at Edward, Edward Brockman's uh, comments, he has uh, done it, he has built it for himself, and, uh, and he really, really loves it. Uh, so it can be done, but it's, it's a lot of experimentation, no, uh, and then you have to figure out a lot of things for yourself. With the Cube Audio, there's a lot of uh, helping hands, and one of them is just get the Cube Audio speaker in the cabinet that's already done and then there's no need to diy uh, number two is just use one of the cabinets that cube audio recommends and i have not gone into the breakdown of those uh, cabinet uh, constructions but i can second what they say because they have a recommendation for the cabinets based on your room size so pick that cabinet they recommend for your room and then you will be happy with it and another option that we have is you can build uh, my void pipe i have the measurements that i posted in one of the videos and based on that you can build uh, my void pipe and the, the cube audio driver at least the fc8 will work astonishingly well with it and it will energize the room down to 25 hertz which is the same thing that you are getting with, uh, with the ANJ. To, to what level exactly, I don't know, because it's been like uh, ages since I heard the ANJ, but, but you can expect that the Cube Audio will do energization with the base region, but uh, you can also expect that it will be less colored than, uh, than um, most ANJs up to the mid-level or so. So I hope this was Nick. This was useful, and uh, I think I have managed to put Kintaro to sleep. So please like if you like. Kintaro gives a thumbs thumbs up. No, no, he doesn't. Maybe not. He just wants to be left alone. So bye bye. Have an awesome day.